I'm Renee. I'm the owner and founder of Luster Tan Spray Tanning and Beauty Bar, and I am also the Master Spray Tan Educator at Spray Tan Class. So today we are going to talk about extraction fans, the importance of extraction fans, and how to make your own DIY super cheap extraction fan um, for mobile services and also if you're just starting out in the spray tanning business because I know there's a lot of things, a lot of expenses um, going into starting your um, spray tanning business. You know, we've got our LLCs, we have our equipment, um, you know, all of the things. So let's and you know, you still need an extraction fan. So I'm going to offer you um, a cheaper way to supply your extraction fan. So first of all, what is an extraction fan? Well, an extraction fan is basically your, um, your ventilation system as a spray tanner. So what an extraction fan does, it sucks in all of, you know, all of the excess overspray of your spray tanning, sucks it into a filter. Um, and why is this important? Well, there are two main reasons why having an extraction fan is really important in your spray tanning um, business. Number one is health reasons, right? Because you want to prevent all of your spray tanning over spray. You want to prevent that from being inhaled into your respiratory system as well as like, you don't want any like over, um, over spray to get in your eyes or any of your mucous membranes. So you want to pull that away from your clients and yourself. So it is definitely um, a health caution, but then also cleanliness. So the the better your extraction fans are, um, the less overspray, overspray is going to get on your baseboards, your walls, and like your whole entire space. So health, health being number one, and then also cleanliness. So extraction fans are a must. Um, so the most popular um, extraction fan would be to get an extraction booth, a whole unit that has like three to four different fans built in. Your clients can, it's, you know, it's just a whole backdrop. Um, you can Google extraction booths. Um, they're beautiful and it's going to suck in all the overspray. Um, that's amazing. Um, if you're just starting out and that's something that you can't afford at the time, let me just show you a way that you can make your own in under $30. All right, so what you wanna do is you want to buy a box fan. This is a box fan. Now this is dirty because I, even though I don't use this at my studio, I still use these when I'm mobile because it is so light and it's easy. So if I'm, if I'm doing an on location pageant or on location bridal party, I can take a couple of these bad boys. They're so lightweight. I get home at the end of the night and then I can just wash out the filter. So this is really dirty. So when you're thinking of a box fan, so this is what you need to buy, a 20 by 20 box fan. And you can get these, I mean, at Lowe's for what, $29.99? And I see them on sale all the time for $19.99, $24.99. So they're pretty, they're pretty inexpensive. So when you get a box fan, this is the front side right? You're operating from the front side because it's a fan. It's blowing the air out. Now we've got a big in our mind extraction fan. We want to suck the air in. So we're going to turn it around. So now the front side or the back side is now going to be your front side. And this is important to remember because once again, we want to extract the air. We're pulling the air in. So it's going to be pulling through. So Start with, so now the back side of your, um, your box fan is now your front. So that is the first part. Get a box fan, we're going to turn it around. We're going to work from the back side. Then what I do is I just went to Home Depot and I buy these washable, reusable filters. They are like under $5. I think it was like $4.99. And they actually come a little longer and I just trimmed them to fit the 20 by 20 box fan. And that's it. So, and once again, like I said, I use this for mobile purposes. So at the end of the night, I um, wash this. I wash it, it dries, and then I reuse it. I've literally, because I have a couple box fans that I take, I've never replaced it because it is, once again, washable. So under $30, guys. Um, and there are different ways if you look online how people attach their filters to their box fans. I use zip ties. Um, some people use duct tape and all the things. Um, I think duct tape is messy because it puts that residue on. And I don't know. I use zip ties because you can literally just 
pull this through your fan and then pop it through your filter, tighten it up on all four corners. It, it becomes invisible, you can't see it. Um, and then at the end of the night or whenever it's time to clean, you just snip them off with a pair of scissors and just wash it. And it just like, looks nicer and cleaner. Um, that's, what, that's what I like. That's what I like to use. So I do zip ties and it holds it together perfectly. And so that is the way I do my DIY extraction fans um, because extraction fans can get pricey and um, so can backdrops and extra extraction boots. Um, but so that is just my tip for you. If you babes are just now starting out in your, your spray tanning business and you need a couple extraction fans um, and you don't want to spend that extra expense right now, this is the way to go. Or if you just need something, um, if you're if you're mobile a lot and you want an extraction fan for like a big event and you don't want to carry, you know, like the wave, I have waves at my studio. I mean, they're really heavy and bulky and there's not a good way to like carry them. This is just a better alternative because it's lightweight, easy to clean and super inexpensive and easy to make. All right, babes, thank you so much. See you soon.